most of us have experienced a romantic breakup at some point in our lives. In this video we are going to give you 10 psychological tips to forget someone you loved. Number 1. Remember that breakups are a common experience. You are not the only person to be rejected. Rejection is one of the most common human experiences. Sometimes people don't let on they've been rejected, so you can't always tell. Number 2. Cut off the contact. Do this at least for a little while. No, you do not need to be friends. Keeping an ex in your life is not by itself a sign of maturity. Knowing how to take care of yourself and your emotional well-being is. Many people hang on to the idea of friendship with an ex as a way to keep the possibility of the relationship alive because the idea of completely letting go seems too overwhelming. Number 3. Being your own best friend. This is what is most important during a difficult breakup, and that means not putting yourself in situations that don't lead to feeling good. When you are hurting, you are our vulnerable. Protecting yourself with healthy boundaries is an essential part of good self-care. Politely let your ex know you need your space and would prefer not to be in contact for the time being. Number 4. Turn your loss into a learning experience. Although you are unable to alter the past, you can always learn from your mistakes. If nothing else, lessons can always be learned from a failed relationship. Number 5. Stop blaming yourself. It takes two to break up, the problem wasn't just you, it was you two as a couple. It's almost reverse narcissistic to blame yourself that much. If you try to look at the relationship from the outside, maybe you'll have an easier time seeing how you both contributed to the breakup. Number 6. No it is okay to still love them. Love is never wrong. When someone comes into your life who allows you the opportunity to experience love, that is always a true gift. Part of maturity, however, is recognizing that love by itself isn't always enough to make a relationship work. Many other factors and circumstances, such as timing, incompatible values, or the choices we make, play a significant role in whether a relationship can thrive. But moving on from a relationship that is not working is not always about ending the love you feel. Sometimes the only way to let go is to love someone enough to want the best for him or her, even if that means not being together. Number 7. Spend a lot of time outside. It's a cliche, but fresh air really does clear your head. So does, you know, seeing the sun every once in a while. Take at least two hours from each day just to leave your cave of forgotten dreams and interact with the outside. Number 8. No, it's okay to rely on your friends. Breakups can make even the strongest people feel like they're worthless or not good enough. Hang out with people that appreciate you and remind you of what a good person you are. This is when having a strong support network is essential because friends can show you that you still matter and that you still belong. Number 9. Make peace with the past. When someone treats you poorly or does something hurtful, it is a natural and healthy response to feel some anger. Anger helps you be aware of situations that are not in your best interest and can facilitate the separation process from an unhealthy relationship. Number 10. Look for factors that caused the rift. Perhaps you were both too young or had different goals. Perhaps your partner wasn't ready to settle down. Or perhaps external stresses, like studies, distance, families, or finances, got in the way.